This is the Bill Squire Show. Are you tired of not getting any YouTube views, having no content ideas, and just feeling like a phony? Well, do I have a thing for you? See, YouTube can be difficult to navigate, and many creators think they have to do it alone. Other SEO and growth platforms are difficult to understand. But vidIQ is not the same. vidIQ is easy to use, has many features, and for a limited time, it's free. Welcome to the Bill Squire Show. I am your host, Bill Squire. I'm here with AJ DeCosimo. Hello, love. And Tommy LC. Hello, love. And we have a special guest this week. I'm very happy to welcome Dave Cheryl at Dave Ruins Art on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, how you doing, Dave? I'm good, man. How are y'all? I'm good. I'm I'm happy to have you. We've been trying to make this happen for a couple weeks now, and uh, you got a little sick. How you feeling? Are you better? Much better. Much better. But I gave it to everyone in Cleveland. So I'm glad I was able to miss out on that. <laughs> Monkey like, box. Really no. Yes. <laughs> oh my God! You had monkeypox? A little bit. Did you really have monkeypox? <laughs> no. Does anybody no. here know anyone who's had monkeypox? No. I do not. No. Okay. No. Sorry, no, I would like to know. <laughs> you were so excited about monkeypox uh, for a just second. Being like, ooh, I've, I've that's met just someone. such a silly name for yeah. so, for something so not silly. silly. Yeah, 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 it's no. not yeah, it's silly. Horrible. Yeah, it's a terrible. People thing. have like sores just all over. Yeah, them. it's so, gross looking. Ugh. Oh lord, and on their anus and genitals. Well, I think that's on how you contract it. Contract it? <laughs> by the way, guys, Contracted. By the way, guys, those sores on my anus and genitals are not monkey no, pops. No, okay, okay, I okay, knew okay. they weren't. Yeah, I, I know. I don't know if they knew they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Dave is a great artist, and uh, he was catching up on the podcast. He listened to a few episodes, and he's like, I know a lot about you guys' masturbatory habits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> from the podcast. And I am like, oh, you know what? I don't realize that we talk about jacking off that much, but now that I think about it, can I talk no, about Jack? Well, how many how many episodes did you watch? Just was it just last week? Like four, but the the did first one I was was like all jacking off for like thirty minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. I, I well, guess when I you didn't have, realize either. My well, mom is a guest. You got to talk about these yeah. things. <laughs> Dave ruins art more like Dave ruins jacking off. Right. Right. He didn't say it was bad. <laughs> Forever. Just saying do it. we do it in an entertaining way though? It was hilarious. Oh, I pre- okay, I prepared good. by jacking off a couple of times. That's so. good. <laughs> That's good. Tommy, well, you had a tweet last night about your jacking off. Dude, stoned. The best. Hijacking. Yeah. Yeah. Hijacking. I've never <laughs> called it anything before, but now I love it. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It's way better. A stoner to think of that. Yeah. Just, Valid <laughs> point. I just call it jacking off on quaaludes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a good hijack in a while because, like, I used to, that used to be, like, my way of doing it. But I, it doesn't it doesn't hit me like it used to. I mean, no? I need to try it again. It's been a while. Mm. Try it again. I need to try it again. But there's definitely been times in the past where like I was super high and it was like so sensitive and it was like, holy shit, this is <laughs> yeah, this is like being a kid again <laughs> or like being like a a new jacker. A new, a new jacker. A new jack yeah. hijacking is like being a new jack. New Jack mm-hmm. City. Yeah. New Jack City. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so you jacked off a few times. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. Um, we won't talk about what you jack off to <laughs> if you don't want us to. I'm good. All right, yeah. good. Going. That's good. Okay. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's why he's so relaxed. I'm an artist, so just pictures of myself. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also jack off to pictures of yourself. So Is that how you ruin the art? <laughs> 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 Take that climate change activist. You want to get people's attention. That's how you do it. You do cum tributes on famous art. Yes. Fuck you, Greta Thunberg. Yeah. You don't even have to glue your hand to the wall. It's already sticky. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you bring your own glue. It's uh, it's the glue that keeps on gluing. Davy gravy. Yeah. <laughs> you. That's not the first time you said that. <laughs> that is not. Hello, Matt. Hello, Gerilyn. We got some people in the uh, live chat. Uh, Boogered Up Podcast. Thank you for checking out the Bill Squire Show live. Trying to get more people. We got 13 people watching, 14 people watching. What? That's awesome. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate that. All right, Dave, you just won an award. Yeah. What'd you win? You did? Uh, best novelty artist from Cleveland Magazine. That feels like a backhanded 
award. <laughs> I thought it was fake. <laughs> <laughs> I put novelty artist on my Instagram feed because I didn't want people to think I was a good artist. Yeah. Aww. So <laughs> it set the bar lower. When I when I heard that I won best novelty artist, I thought somebody somebody's fucking with me. As past <laughs> Cleveland Scene Magazine award winners. Yeah. Can we give you a piece of advice? Yes. You don't get an automatic bid for next year because yeah. you won. You don't. We yeah. won best podcast in 2021. And we then weren't in even 2022, this year. we weren't even nominated. We weren't even on the fucking ballot. Oh, no. Yeah, I was kind of yeah. mad about that. Did you we get didn't even like know when worse. it was, like, going out, though. Yeah. Like, I, I think you told us, like, happened. the day before it was, like, the end, like, the deadline. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why. I didn't feel like it was very... I didn't see a lot of people post, No, I didn't honestly, see, like, anybody this yeah. year. Did you guys go to the party? No, we weren't even fucking There was excited. a party? <laughs> what? They had a big party. Oh, my God. It looks but like that's where fun. he got everybody sick. Now yeah. the, po- the podcast oh, yeah. is funny. ruined. Yeah. Dave ruins the podcast. I'm going to go to that well a few times tonight. Just so, you know. <laughs> uh, so tell, tell us, like, just real quick what kind of arts you do. And uh, thanks, everybody, again, for watching live. If you can hit the like and share, that helps a lot, too. Yeah, so uh, I take uh, thrifted paintings, Mm -hmm. uh, like Bob Ross landscapes, and then I add, like, Godzilla and Star Wars and stuff like that. Yeah, I brought some prints so that you guys can see them. Okay, hell yeah. Uh, So when did you start doing this, and, like, what made you think to do this? uh, So I had a vintage store Mm -hmm. in Ohio, and you guys can keep these. Just please don't don't throw them away. Don't throw them away in front of me. Tommy, do you want to be the 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 shower offer? You can be the... Spokes model. Okay, we got. Uh, oh, it's, yes, that's actually very good. That's beautiful. It's a little tauntaun, right? That's what they're called. The tauntaun. Tauntaun. No, that's an that's an imperial walker. Yeah. Oh, I actually. The oh, the an animal. Is the tauntaun. Okay. Can you? I, I would want to say thirteenth floor elevator, but I know that that's not what I'm thinking. No. There's that one 13th shop. Thirteenth floor elevator is a man. I know yeah. a great one. You're I thinking bet. of thirteenth floor art. That's yeah. The, uh, here, hand those yeah. over to this dude. Just over that here. kind of <laughs> this dude. AJ, do you got all? Thank you. Tommy, can you run through all the different? Yep. There, okay, we got the Merry oh. Christmas one, so, the holiday season, and how do people find these? On uh, DaveRuinsArt.com. <laughs> DaveRuinsArt.com. Oh, so the Star Wars one with the the holiday one, I did that one as a commission for Lee Towersy, who built and operated R two D two in the in the new movies. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's so cool. cool. And he, he sent it out as his Christmas card. So I I don't know if he did, but he maybe like sent it to Mark Hamill. I don't know. What the? F- that's sick. That's, yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. fucking cool. I didn't know who he was when he was asking me. He's like. Look me up and get back to me. <laughs> like, I love to look me it. up. Yeah. Can you do one really of us cool. with the radio studio in the middle of a Gettysburg battle? <laughs> <laughs> We're just sitting Absolutely. here just talking to each other. That would be Finally, so cool. Finally, we'll have cover art for all our episodes. <laughs> right. Go with this generic shit for a while. That would be so much better. Um, Matt said he's seen these on Instagram. Uh, Boogered Up Podcast said that's so sick. So That's so sick. That's fucking cool, man. That's that's yeah. really great Thank stuff. You for the prints. And what's the one that you're most proud of? Like, what's the one that like when you thought of it, or like when it just that was one. done, it was all it yeah. all came together. That one was R two versus the Empire. Okay. And uh, I did that for a friend, uh, Jeffrey J, a comedian in L A. And I put it on Reddit, and it blew up to the front n- number one slot, and just ah. that's awesome. I got a million orders, and mm-hmm. like. Uh, it, it was crazy. That's it, so cool. I ended up in Newsweek for it. That's, That's really cool. This is yeah. so wow. fucking cool. Can I tell you what I love the most about this one? Because, like, one, like, just the concepts are funny. Like, yeah. like just the idea of it's so <laughs> funny. But this, like, showcase is, like, kind of like like the bravery of R2. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's, like, willing to go at the entire <laughs> yeah. empire of uh, this cute little droid. These are so cool. Wow, awesome. I love this. And then so, uh, the other one's Happy Little Leatherface. And then <laughs> I like it. What's the yeah. one that just recently an artist shared in uh, their Instagram or on a TikTok video, uh, and that blew up as well? It was YouTube. It was John, it was John okay. Green. John Green, that's right. I, I'm doing a mural, and my phone just starts going off with sales. Yeah. And I Is couldn't even tell where it's from. Is that, like, the best feeling ever? Oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, we are always just – you know, when you're an artist or, or somebody that's, like, whether I'm trying to sell tickets to a show or trying to get people to watch my stand-up clips or whatever it is, you always feel like you're just banging your head against the wall. So when something hits, it's just, 
there's no feeling like that. Like, as much as I love my kids and my girlfriend, uh, <laughs> they cannot compare. They just can't. Yeah. Because uh, I've worked way harder on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when people like what you do, it's like, yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden you're you're just and it becomes known for it. Yeah, and you're known for it, and it and it becomes a way. I mean, it's not a greed thing. It's we we want to be able to continue to do this. So it's it's a it's a nice feeling. To be like, oh, I can do this for another month. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I got another month in me. Yeah. I might get two months. I might get a year out of this yeah. day. Like it's it's a great feeling. Uh, he's this guy asked uh, that R two is fucking insane. How long did it take? Uh, it just took. Uh, I think I did that overnight. I think I did it real late at night once. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I just woke up and took a picture and posted it on Reddit, and then, and then everything it just changed. Takes off. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, I think up... Reddit is the reason we know each other. Is it because? Uh, shots. Before I was on the Alan Cox show, I would post stand-up <laughs> shots. And what a stand-up shot is, is a, like it was just like a picture of me doing stand-up or whoever doing stand-up. And then you put the, you know, the words of your joke. You just put – and then I, I had a bunch of those go viral. I think you posted some, and that's kind of how we got to know each other. Yeah. And then I found out that you were just in Canton not that far, yeah. far away. And we, we did some shows together, yeah. uh, and then uh, you helped me make some connections too, which yeah. is very cool. And uh, – I had some of those that also reached the the front page. Now I should have had prints. <laughs> that would have been cool. Uh, good evening, Edgar and uh, Jake. Sup, fam? He says uh, exactly what a thirty eight year old white man should say. Uh, um, but he so. But those those went viral, and that was about 2012, 20, 2012 through twenty fourteen is when I was posting regularly on there, and. People will see the video version of my jokes, and they'll go, hey, you stole this joke. Yeah. And I'm like, from who? And they're like, I don't know. I saw it on Reddit. I'm like, that was me. <laughs> that people just would screenshot it and cut out my name or whatever. Yeah. And I look a little bit different now, but they would just remember the joke. They wouldn't remember my face or yeah. anything like that. Cause I'm, well, that's good. Yeah. Right. right but it'd be funny. The like work. They're like, you're stealing yeah. this joke. I'm like, it's my joke. You just, <laughs> if you want to. Remember, like I, it's me, so like lock that in. Yeah. Uh, so, so we met about 15 years ago. You you opened uh, Arrowhead Vintage. Yeah. And uh, how's that? That's a like a vintage slash craft store. A lot of cool, uh, kitschy uh, art and items in there. What's uh, how's that been going? Uh, we closed uh, for the pandemic, uh, March 2022. So not good. Or 2020. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. We make more money than ever. Uh, just, no, right. Just sell art, yeah. Just selling the art. That's Just a shipping department. Nice. Well, that's pretty awesome then. Yeah. Just being able to sell the art and, yeah. and uh, exist just that way is, is very cool. Uh, I feel like an asshole for not knowing that it was closed, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. When was the last time you went to Canton? It's been not... Pre-COVID, Pre probably. Pre-COVID, <laughs> sure. yeah, it's been a while. Well, that's actually not true. I sometimes I'll go to Canton if because I have to pick up shoes from Belden Village Mall. What? 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 Yeah. So why I'll, do you have to pick up shoes from Belden Village Mall? I'll win a raffle, and the closest place that will give them to me is <laughs> Belden Village Mall. So I'll drive down there to buy a two hundred dollar pair of shoes. So. Okay. All right. And that's actually saving me money. Not, not, <laughs> not to brag, but we just won. I saw this earlier today. We just won uh, most dangerous city in Ohio. So suck it, Cleveland. Take that. Really? Oh, okay. Dangerous. Well, let me tell you something. As somebody who won most dangerous person in Cleveland, <laughs> it doesn't secure you an automatic bid for next year. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just want to like let you know, Canton. So you you guys won the Cleveland Magazine thing last year. Last, yeah. last year. Oh, and not Cleveland Magazine. Scene. No, Cleveland scene. Magazine doesn't like. So I was one of their most interesting people in 2012, yeah. and then they acted like I died since then. Not even died. <laughs> Same. Like, I, like I never existed. I got me, Liz Blanc, and Wanda Mayfield. Uh, there was an article about us, the, the three comics to watch in Cleveland. Uh -huh. yeah. Then they never cared. <laughs> yeah. They did nothing. Like, they I've never gave a shit. come out with comedy specials and albums and stuff like this, and they're just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put Mary in there. All they love Mary. They fucking don't give a fuck about me. So. Yeah, Mary just won. Yeah, Mary just yeah. won. And I've, uh, I, I've never won. Well, I won uh, in Scene Magazine. That's what we won. Yeah, Scene, 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 scene Magazine. 
We won Best Podcast yeah. and Scene Magazine, and then I won uh, Same Rules best, Apply, though. Yes, Best uh, <laughs> Comic in Cleveland one year, and I think like it was something where Polk just wasn't like he asked his name to be removed because it's always Polk that wins. Okay, yeah, and that's no, nothing wrong with that because great. he's pretty good. He's yeah. pretty good. Um, so your most your favorite one is by a lighthouse, and uh, we were talking about the movie The Lighthouse. I asked you if you had seen it. You <laughs> yeah. have. I watched it for the first time because I did, never wanted to watch it because I was like, this isn't my kind of movie. Yeah. I'm not a horror guy. I'm not an artsy movie guy. <laughs> so I knew that this is not going to be my kind of movie. And I watched it for the first time on Saturday, and I have – <laughs> some gripes. Yeah. You okay. said it was a chore. You it used was the word a fucking chore. chore. Because I didn't think it was a chore. It, I didn't It wasn't like it was a, chore. a chore, but it felt like um Oh my god. <laughs> uncut <laughs> gems. You know how that was like so chaotic? Yeah. Major That's just what it was. I, it was see, just I very... loved Uncut Gems. As he says, I'm not really into artsy movies. <laughs> right, but right. I think, yeah. I don't yeah. think un- Uncut Gems is an artsy movie. It's the Safety brothers did it. They're like art auteurs. They're like art. Yeah, house but they're darlings. but they're they're telling a story from beginning to end with like with with real people that are acting <laughs> the way real people act. It's it's still like a pretty you know, I believe that moments. there were sailors that lived in lighthouse. Like they were real people in the eighteen hundreds. This is a Marvel That's guy. That's how real people I need acted. real people I, in no, my no, no, movies. No, <laughs> no, like, but even in Marvel movies, people are acting like this is reality. The, so here's my first okay. gripe. Okay. I want to hear, I okay. hear your gripes. So the aspect ratio he used for the movie was one nineteen one or some, yeah. some fucking square thing, which I, I'm so annoyed by it because we live in a time where, like, use, you have a whole screen. Why not use the whole screen? What's the artistic purpose of using less screen? I had the same problem with the fucking the Snyder Cut. Felt more. They made it, one, make, it make, it, like, make it feel like a Nickelodeon. Well, it's that's and like make it feel like just yeah. like, like uncomfortable and claustrophobic. Yeah, When's the last the time you saw Nosferatu? Hard. I've never seen Nosferatu. Okay, have you ever seen the original Frankenstein? Uh, no. They're both shot like that. So right. it's it's period like that's the, right. the style but of that time. That's how they He's had to shoot stuff because it's 2022. <laughs> if they had the opportunity <laughs> to shoot it in 4K with uh, a 16:9 aspect ratio, they would. Yeah, they, that, that's like saying like, well, we made it a silent film as a tribute to being a silent. I'd film. watch that. I think that would I be think sick. I would. Yeah, oh, I would watch it. I for it. sure would. I know. Did you like the lighthouse, Dave? I loved it. Uh, I great figured movie. you would. I. Yeah, okay. I so, okay. So, so, so the aspect drives. ratio because it's like this tribute to old mm-hmm. times, but he's not using old sound. He's obviously not using old actors. You can't also you can't put. <laughs> uh, <laughs> In, in this old as, aspect ratio, well, yeah, yeah like, because if I'm fucking to, Vincent wait, 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 wait. Price has been dead for forty years. No, no, but you, but that's why. Here's why I don't <laughs> okay. like the actors that he used. Because if you're trying to transport me to that time and make it feel like it's older, you can't put the fucking hobgoblin and Edward Cullen in the movie and ask me to be like, but now they're sailors. Like if you're if if that's Bill. the whole goal is to make it seem like this was filmed in that time, then use people that. I've never that, seen before. Use people from that time. No, no, go use, back. No, no. <laughs> I'm saying use people I've never seen before. Use, Don't use those guys. It's called acting. Yes, I, like, actors they, they want, do. They, yeah. Right, they want so, you to. But I did, so, at so no he's, point. I so saw he's Willem acting. Dafoe. I, I saw I Willem him. Dafoe play Vincent Van Gogh, and at no point did I say, "Oh, that's not Vincent Van Gogh." And I wouldn't have <laughs> uh, worried about it if he had just used the regular aspect ratio. And then you explain it as, oh, he's trying to make it feel old-timey. I'm like, then don't put famous people in it if he wants it to feel old-timey. Well, I, you win, Bill. I don't know. That one, I guess you could win. I mean, I it would guess, be cool yeah. to see an unknown actor, but actors are actors. Yeah, but it's to he's, he's a master. He's a I know. Again, the acting was good. I will give them. Yes. The performances were good. The I, It wasn't at all scary or tense no. to me. No, I mean, it was I, I, was I, tense, I, I felt but not it was tense. I, I, I didn't feel scared, but tense. I, I felt, felt like I was alone on that lighthouse yes. with him. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm feeling crazy. I felt like 
the only thing that made me tense was like, do I gotta watch him jack off again? <laughs> like, <laughs> like the jacking off and the farting made it like feel like a comedy you know, to me. You That's, know what? I was the yeah. same way, but the other way. I would the tense uh, came for me where it was like, am I gonna get to watch them? Ooh, jack you're off? so excited. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, usually I, when I watch a Robert Pattinson movie, I'm the one furiously masturbating. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. See now all of it, Mr. Jack off talk over here. <laughs> I prepared. Uh, yeah, it just it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't, I didn't hate it. I didn't, like, I just thought it was very much a chore to get through. Uh, and, yeah, I knew, uh, someone said, I was surprised Bill knew Edward's last name. Mm-hmm. I <laughs> was married at the time, I, I and my kids all loved those movies, so I watched all of the Twilight movies with them. And uh, that was about the same level of enjoyment I had. <laughs> was Really? Yeah. You, I, you preferred the Twilight movies? To no, Lighthouse? I said I'm about the same. It's about the same? <laughs> about the same. I think the dialogue was pulled from, like, real Lighthouse log books and stuff okay. like that. I did that in The Witch, too. Yeah. The, the, okay. the, the Witch. Yeah. See, I heard a different story, though. I oh, thought okay. I heard that the dialogue from The Lighthouse was just amalgamation of a bunch of Garfield the Cat comics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm go with that. I thought that they were just uh, like, I'm going to let you win this one. Uh, John Arbuckle. <laughs> No, I thought the performances, the dialogue, I, I thought it was good. And, like, it did pull me in at some point, but it was just, like, I was really annoyed by the aspect ratio because I just thought it was a dumb choice, mm. and uh, <laughs> I hang on to stupid things like that too much. I and do then it think was just, that they it, got an Academy Award nomination for cinematography. Mm-hmm. I Again, the, 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 the way they shot they it was shot. beautiful, but I just didn't think the choice of using that, that aspect, that aspect ratio. ratio made any sense when you can just... You, you put it on a big screen. screen or you're watching it on, you know, your TV and you're like, well, it'd been cool if I could see more of this. But I guess uh, <laughs> we have to pretend like he had a shitty camera when he didn't. <laughs> right. Like, or maybe they made the deliberate choice to use a shittier camera. But they didn't use a shitty camera. Well, I don't know what it, camera they use. It's high quality. Like, Is the it film, high qu- the, it's like I watched yeah. it on. Yeah. My 4K TV and it oh looked God, like it was it 4K. Your, I watching it on your cell phone would be a chore, a real chore. It's like this <laughs> big, right? Yeah. <laughs> but we do that all the time too. It, it's like it reminds me of how I have to make everything into a vertical video now because of it's TikTok. Annoying. Yeah. Whereas I like to watch things like I prefer watching things in landscape mode, but because of TikTok and Reels and Shorts on YouTube, I have to watch everything this way because that's how people are consuming things now and i don't like that either so, <laughs> so i am consistent consistent in, in your uh, hatred in my aspect ratio uh preferences oh yeah so <laughs> overall it was i i give it a seven out of ten like i didn't hate it at all yeah. like it was a fun like once i got into it it was kind of a fun movie it's weird as fuck mm-hmm. i don't mind that but uh it's but it's again it's not something that i'm going to seek out yeah. Like when and when people talk about like oh this is the best movie like it just yeah it doesn't doesn't <sighs> do for me what it did for you guys yeah so you have a piece called By the Lighthouse Dave what's that you had a piece called By the Lighthouse no the painting right here is, oh yeah. it's this next is to the lighthouse, lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was segueing yes I was mm. this is what was going on outside <laughs> yes, in the film the, the lighthouse mm-hmm. yeah now that would have been great <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tommy you watched your movie too so I did. have you ever seen High Fidelity. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we've been bothering Tommy to watch High Fidelity for months. For months. Yeah, I never watched it. You like it? Yeah, it was fun. Fuck that ending, though. (laughs) They should not. mm, I hate it. What did you hate about the ending? That they got back together or were about to get back together. They did get back together. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, fuck that. They shouldn't have. Why shouldn't they have? Because she's a, ugh. I you mean, both like of her? them. Actually, I didn't were, like both uh, of them. There was not a not likeable, a likeable yeah. character. In that no movie. one was enjoyable. It's a very realistic movie. Yeah. Right. That yeah. <laughs> that's why. That's why I thought they should not get back together in the end. The only likeable th- character. It felt very realistic, except. I feel like the only likeable character in High <laughs> Fidelity was Willem Dafoe from the of the Lighthouse. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> uh, no, but it, I love that movie though. It's it was good. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fun and. I, I like that they get back together because it reminds me of how people actually break up and get back together in real life. Yeah. And then he immediately gets back together with her and then starts flirting with this girl and has that realization. He's like, oh, I'm falling in love with the fantasy, yeah. not the actual not girl. The because in the fantasy, whatever. she's only got cute underwear. She doesn't have any old <laughs> underwear that's gross or anything like that. And then and- they eat a bunch of beans and start farting. <laughs> <laughs> Right. 
Yeah, yeah right. As uh, Willem Dafoe is known to do. Yeah. Um, He's <laughs> known for having a big penis. Is, is he? he? You didn't know this? No. no. Oh, does Willem Dafoe have a big penis? They was edited it, it out of a movie. I think they shrunk it digitally because it was so distracting. Damn, I can't I remember what that. movie it was, but William Dafoe. Is his penis in The Travels. Antichrist? Maybe it was. Because that's a fucked up movie. And yeah. Maybe it is. Now I need to go look up Willem Dafoe's dick. So they had to shrink, like, dick. CGI his dick down? Yeah, they had to shrink it down. It was <laughs> was it like it, it was like full frontal in the mo- movie, and they had yeah to... yeah it was, it was so big it was just distracting. It's <laughs> actually this lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> his light, his well, dick was the lighthouse all along. Lighthouse all along. <laughs> now I love that movie. Ten it out of ten. It's a phallic movie. So. It is a very phallic movie. <laughs> I, yeah, I had never heard that. I had heard that about uh, who's the guy that plays Loki. Uh, oh, uh, Tom Hiddleston? Tom Hiddleston. I'm really? Tom Welling. Really? Someone uh, told me that they had, like, in in the first <laughs> Thor, it kept, like, showing through, and then they had the, so in the other movies, they, like, gave him a, more of a cod piece mm. cover because mm. it kept, like, I, I you know, printing. Stop you know getting a boner. I hear has a huge dick is Dame Judi Dench. <laughs> I hear has a huge, yeah, massive That's shrunk. why she's a dame. Yeah, <laughs> she knighted herself with her own big cock. Yep. Yeah. The guy that played <laughs> Superman, they, didn't they have to digitally like make his junk smaller? No, that was Diane Weist. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. The it new guy? Yeah, Henry, Henry Cavill. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. His, Never heard that. His junk was too big. I think that's also something that they pay publicists to say. Maybe. They go, hey, yeah. Can yeah. you put this out there? Because <laughs> I mean, you got John Ham. We've heard about John Ham's. Big old hog. You never heard about John? No. Ham? John Have Ham's you seen any pictures of him? Like just he looks like he has, See, I'm just over here with an no, average I'm... sized penis. <laughs> Do you not even have a celebrity penis Google News alert? Not in years. <laughs> well, this one's been around for a while, so that's it. Brandon Routh is what uh, Matt's saying is that he's the one that they had to. I bet Justin Long isn't. I bet he's a. Has a small one. Okay. <laughs> That's so wide. Why? <laughs> Why would you bring that up? Oh, no, yeah. we're just talking about celebrities and their penises. And I just thought, I bet Justin Long has a tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they stole his heart and Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. yeah that's Aww, why. Yeah. They, he didn't want his dick. <laughs> yeah. He smelled it. What am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with this? Uh, but d- did it stay <sighs> small or... Or maybe that's why he wanted to take the role in Tusk because walruses have the largest like dick ratio of a mammal. Maybe I knew that from an Adam Sandler movie. Uh, <laughs> really? Ninety nine first dates is that what it's called? Fifty first dates. Fifty, 50 <laughs> first dates. I don't remember states. that. Uh, yeah, because he works fact, at an aquarium. I do remember and that. And his joke was, uh, yeah, like, walruses have like the biggest penis of any. Land mammal or whatever, and he goes. The second is mine. That was like his yeah, joke. yeah, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> I love that movie too. It is a good movie. I don't like that movie. You don't like Fifty no. First Dates? No. Why not? I can't get past the fact that he is literally conniving a mentally ill woman for love. <laughs> don't we all? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Now he, Dave just made me like Fifty First Dates. <laughs> he just changed my mind. <laughs> Uh, Edgar says, Bill, just admit you're turning into an old man. Oh, I'm v- fully aware that it is a old man gripe for me to be like, I don't like the aspect ratio. <laughs> like it's, it's not it's a... It's hard for me to see. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't like, I don't like that I hate that, but it just it bothered me uh, quite a bit. So where'd you get this idea uh, to like start doing this? So I had a vintage painting at my store, and I, I kept marking it down for like two years. And I got down to five bucks, and I was like, I got to do something with it. Mm-hmm. So I'd seen Banksy do it before. There's a, okay. there's a lot of other people that do it. I know Wayne White's one of them. Oh, yeah. I'm a big yeah. fan of his. But the, were they, they were just kind of doing whatever they felt like doing, but yeah. like you, you went the Star Wars route. Yeah. Uh, which uh, I, I, I remember one thing about your store was you'd always have – the Star Wars VHS, like the original ones yeah. playing, which I, I appreciated that a lot. Yeah. Uh, that That's fun. It makes me – I actually just had a dream where I had those again. Like, Man, <laughs> do I want to get a VHS player and get yeah. the original? You do. I have them at my house. You have them? That'd be fucking cool. You look for the despecialized DVD. I, my brother has them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's awesome. Uh, huh. What comes first, the, the <coughs> idea or the painting? Like do you see a painting and then go like, ooh, I think this would be good in the – 
And, oh, yeah, and the, the painting story. first. I, the painting I first. spent a long time just, like, looking at it and trying mm-hmm. to decide. And I was actually almost done with this one. I was like, oh, what if, what if like, R2-D2 was the only thing going up against the, the Empire? Mm-hmm. That's really and then a cool idea. just throw it in. And yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Um, What do you think of the current state of just the Star Wars universe? Like, did you – have you watched – I haven't watched Andor – but like, are you sticking with it? Have you been? Oh yeah, I love yeah. everything. Actually, yeah. uh, Lee Towersy sent me just randomly in the mail a production hat from the Andor series. Oh really? Yeah, it That's says Pilgrim cool. on it. It was like their code word, so oh. people didn't know it was what they were shooting. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so I loved Andor. I love all of it. I'm not picky, dude. <laughs> I feel like part of the charm of Star Wars is hating Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like. I think there's things to hate and there's things to like, like, you know, like the clerk's argument of the like picking apart people working on the uh, Death Star and being like, oh, they knew what they got into. I love arguments like that. I think that's fun. Uh, When you're just hating on things uh, that we can't control. That gets tiresome. Yeah. Like, hating on Jar Jar Binks, hating on the prequels. Like, I used to not enjoy the prequels, and I've gotten to a point where I really enjoy the prequels now. Yeah. I really enjoy the prequels. I, I Like, the newer trilogy, I'm, I accept for what it is, and it's not perfect, but it's still a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the Obi-Wan series was great. Uh, Mandalorian <laughs> was so much fun. Oh, so, yeah. So, I like, there's so much that I enjoy that I'm not going to focus on the little things that I'm like, yeah. But I do like the the semantic arguments about the Star Wars universe. Yeah. I think those are very very fun. Like the uh, there's a great piece on McSweeney. It's called the implausibility of the of the Death Star's trash compactor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I like, fucking love that. Yeah, um, that's a great piece. What's the? Uh, can you give us like? Kind no, of you gotta of... read. You, if I do it, it's it's just so funny. I okay. would suggest you just read it. Okay, where do you find it? It's McSweeney's. A, McSweeney's. Okay. Yeah. The impossibility of the Death even, Star. Even as a little kid, I was like, how does that alien live in there? Yeah. <laughs> does he get squished? Is he just okay with it? Yeah. He's a squishy he's alien. He's a squishy I, alien. I feel like uh, the alien had its own room, and it knew, like, because when he, he releases Luke, he leaves the room. Yeah. So he doesn't stay in there. He just gets to kind of feed in there, probably keep it from having too much bacteria, space bacteria. He's like a <laughs> tentacle with just an eye. Yeah. You know, the yeah. bigger monster is somewhere else. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Whatever whatever it is. I have no idea. Um, I remember um watching Star Wars and I the whole uh I just I watched a brother and sister make out. That's still kinda <laughs> And that's that's never been more popular. Right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that like George Lucas did it all those years ago and now it's just all over Pornhub. Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, he, I mean, really he didn't a, do the whole stepbrother thing. He had the balls to actually do it. <laughs> We're doing, not only are they going to be biological yeah. brother and sister, they're going to be twins. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're basically the same person, and they're making out. Who oh. was born first, Luke or Leia? Do you know? Leia, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking. Uh, I'm sure we could go into <sighs> the uh, what is that one called? Revenge of the Sith. And watch it, because they they, I think it was Luke and then Leia. Mm. Maybe was, I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe it's somebody on the chat. They were born uh, at the same time, and that's what killed her. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, sounds like at it the would. Same time. <laughs> just split her in two. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 blows my mind? And, and this is these there there are some things about the prequels. Is it's it's Padme dies in childbirth. We are living in this very technologically advanced society we couldn't save Padme. She didn't know about C-sections? Yeah. She died of grief. Was that what it was? Yeah. yeah. She she just was so fucking sad that she was having kids. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I would have been. They, they didn't have, they didn't have on space the abortion. My <laughs> life's over. Yeah. yeah the, the, uh, well, being a single mom's tough. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> as far as she knew, she, she wasn't going to have any help. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's a, but, well, even if he wasn't dead, he's not going to be she around. She was a queen. <laughs> she would have been fine. She, was. she wasn't raising no, those kids. She was a queen. She was a queen. Yeah, I know. She's not a queen anymore. Right, but I mean, like, it, she would have been just okay. She would have been just fine raising those kids. <laughs> I don't know. And we're not. We, we're something not talking about her. like fucking something Anakin's mom. 
where she's just in a fucking just this <laughs> junkyard raising <laughs> raising space Jesus. Yeah. Uh, having a shitty with, landlord. Yeah, she was. She, she made the best of the situation. Uh, Padme has one little snag in her relationship, and she's like, "Now nah, I'm." One little snag. Three. Her husband killed the younglings. One little snag <laughs> because of what he believed. I mean, it's the, never okay to kill younglings. Well, Tommy, for don't your you beliefs. enjoy a man with strong convictions? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I got. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Vince on the chat said, I thought Padme died because the Emperor took her life force to save Anakin's life. That sounds great. Mm. That, that sounds We're like going to run with that. Yeah, we'll run with that. Sounds good. Thanks, Vince. I appreciate it. And uh, Matt <laughs> said, Andor is the best written Star Wars since Empire. So I'll, I definitely need to check out Andor. I haven't seen it yet. I, d- I disagree. I think Rogue One is a masterpiece. I like Rogue One. A lot it's too. part of Rogue One. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. it is. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a prequel to Rogue One, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more of a spy thriller than it is a Star Wars. Like there's not a lot of stormtroopers and a lot of Jedi's. There's not a lot of anything. I mean, that's kind of what made uh the first two seasons of Mandalorian. So I guess there's only two Good. seasons so far. Yeah. Good. I'm over Jedi. Rebel spy. <laughs> yeah, right? I've seen enough Jedi. Yeah, yeah like I get it. You you're... having a little pinch of Jedi as a cute little uh, green guy was perfect you're, for Mandalorian. You, you, I idealistic space virgins i've had enough (laughs) there's a new they just announced that they're doing another movie that takes place after uh rise of skywalker and i think they have said like the skywalker saga is over so i don't even know if it's going to have any existing characters like or they've kept it very mum on what the details are but Mm. they have announced that so that's that's Mm. coming in the next few years. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Ryan Johnson. The Ryan Johnson trilogy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like official now. Because it's just been like coming. mentioned, but it's uh it's coming. And uh yeah, I'm for it. And uh yeah, if, if you guys want uh art with Star Wars Star Wars art, just go check out Dave Ruins Art on is it dot com? Yeah, dot com. Dave Ruins It's really art. like arrowheadcan.com, but Dave Ruin Art it points there. Okay. All right. That's very cool. What, what time are we at here? Eight twenty. Eight twenty coming. Okay. Um. So we've talked about masturbating. <laughs> we talked about Star Wars. The Lighthouse. Though we talked about the Lighthouse. We talked about high fidelity. Mm-hmm. Um. You guys watching Ring of Power? Uh, no, I didn't. I watch haven't Ring of yet. Power. It's good. I, I watched watch Got it. Hot D. But Everybody hates it, but I like it. You like it. I oh, hear- I know a lot of people that liked it. Really? Yeah. 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 I hear Amazon's hitching a lot of their future on uh, the Ring of Power. <laughs> well, they spent like seven hundred million dollars. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah. That's the most money anyone's ever spent for anything ever. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think the Death Star cost? Six hundred million. It was cheaper <laughs> than the, the Ring Death of Power. The Death Star was cheaper than the Ring of Power. Yeah. The second one was. The, yeah. The first one. Was, uh, <laughs> But also, you know, inflation. Do you ever feel bad for, like, those architects that were, like, building the second Death Star in Jedi? <laughs> They're like, oh, all right. Well, here's what I was wondering about that. If they got it operational before it was done, yeah, wasn't it done? Like, do they need all those other, like, quarters or whatever the rest of the Death Star was going to be? I would think what? so because you can't have people on it. It's outer space. Yeah, it needs to be built. A lot of unfinished but it worked. And stuff. If it's if it's <laughs> doing its laser, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if it's doing the laser stuff. That's well, what you, you can, need you it can for. You can destroy planets with it, but I don't think it's done. Okay, you know? yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not just a Death Star. <laughs> it's a we want it to be a death home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Matt says that Rings of Power is the. Uh, it's a little slow, but it's the most beautiful show ever. So maybe I get, I'll check that out. Um, but I, I'm, I've been. Do you guys watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, I know Tommy loves yeah. it. Yeah, uh, give what? me all the incest. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you, you like are, the last episode? I did. I loved it. I loved it. I'm, I'm obsessed I'm a, with this show. It's so good. I think it's a great show. I think, it, and it's been uh, uh, very cool to just see how they they navigated all this stuff. Uh, Brian wants to know where they can buy the art. Uh, you want to say that again there, Dave? Uh, DaveRuinsArt.com. DaveRuinsArt.com. And, 
Were you able to do the TikTok live? Did anybody care from there? Uh, both the people that followed my live really yeah. <laughs> were excited about it. Oh, well, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, got Hot D is very good. Are, you're not a Game of Thrones guy, are you? Uh, I have a... Did you just call him Mom Yeah, I did. He is white. What would you say? I'm sorry. Uh, you're not a Game of Thrones guy. No, it's not that I'm not a Game of Thrones guy. I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay, so here's what I am about TV. I can't watch it. I have to wait till it's all done because okay. I don't. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not waiting a year or two. Oh, oh you're, oh, you're saying whole, you have to wait for the whole series I have to, wait to be for done. The whole series. Well, you can start Game of Thrones. Well, no, I know I yeah. can. I know I can, and I will. I, I just have to get around to it. I'm not waiting a year. You don't get everything like ruined that way. Right. No, well, I, I mean, if, if I do, I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, so, so someone dies. It's like, okay. And then by the time I watch it, I won't remember what to they be, said. Yeah, Game of Thrones, <laughs> you definitely won't remember by the time you watch it. Yeah, like, like tell me so, who, someone who died. That was like a big death on Game of Thrones. Ned. Ned I'm not going to remember that. That Ned. There, wait, hold on. There's someone named Ned. Edward That's his Stark. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Edward Stark. There's a dude named Ned. Yeah. Well, that, right now like we the have middle a middle ages. We've like, got two nicknames this year. I have year. the books. I have the books. Never yeah. read them. What? They're so good. They're, I, I want to read. Books. What's Just funny about Game of Thrones? Next to my copy of Infinite Jest. <laughs> there'll be there'll be so many names that are just like. Rhaenyris and uh, Rhaenys, Viserys Rhaenys, and all that yeah. stuff. But then they'll also have a kid named Luke. <laughs> well, that's okay. So I listened to a podcast on this. Yeah. It's. Because they're likable. Yeah. They kind of just give those two the nicknames because they're the most likable. What are their out of real them. names? It's Jaceris is what? Jace? And then what's the other one? Okay. Luke is the nickname. L- Lucerus, I think. Lucerus. I think it's okay. I think it's, that's what it is. Everyone has a name. Age yeah, Lucerus. I don't like it, yeah. but they were kind of talking about that. Oh, they're th- that whole family's names are like named by like upper middle class white women where oh. it's like these <laughs> Very elaborate names with ridiculous spellings. There's a guy named Ned. His name is Eddard. Eddard, yeah. But Ned. Yeah. There's John. Is you got a problem with John? No, but like <laughs> Ned, like Ned yeah. Flanders. Yeah. Like that. There's a guy <laughs> named Ned. It's a uh, Sean Bean. Oh, he's a delight. He is a delight. <laughs> I like him. Yeah. He dies right away. Well, Sean, Sean, what? Don't get to it. <laughs> Sean Bean. Now, watch now, it. now, now you fucked up because I know who Sean Bean is. <laughs> and can you believe <laughs> that <laughs> Sean <laughs> Bean dies on a TV it, show? How many movie? years? You, you can't. No, you can't be mad at me. It's how many no, years? No, no. But you're just. Like, you won't oh. remember. No, you will you not remember. The, no, I'm gonna remember Sean Bean. <laughs> yeah. dies. Yes, but also how don't. Have, Na- name a movie where Sean Bean doesn't, doesn't die? die. Yeah, right. But Sean Bean dies. Like I would have re- gonna remember that. <laughs> if you haven't watched John Asshole. Wick, don't get attached to the dog. If, what? if you haven't watched John Wick, don't get attached to the oh, dog. Either. I won't get attached to the yeah. dog. Have you ever seen that uh, another flick where the he dog... doesn't get attached to dogs? That's why he was okay lighting right, him on yeah. fire. For <laughs> you ever seen? Uh, you ever seen Sophie's Choice? <laughs> that's a. That's a. Dark. Yeah, don't get don't get attached to the choice because she makes one. She makes one. <laughs> it's a, she makes one choice, Oof. and then uh, it's like the whole movie. Woof. Uh, you, I, I did see Black Adam. Oh, they they oh. did announce that um, James Gunn <gasps> is taking over DC. DC. Yeah. With another dude, the other dude's gonna be like business, and he's gonna you know be creative. Be creative. He's gonna be the Kevin Feige of DC. Yes, which That's they tight. fucking yeah. need because, yeah. I mean. That movie was just, it just was so, so co- like cookie cutter comic book movie. That there was well, nothing Black really Adam was? Yeah, special about it. Yeah. It was just like, we have The Rock in the movie. We know if we make this, it's going to make $700 million because it's The Rock. Mm-hmm. So let's make it. And we don't really have to yeah, have it be unique special. or special. Or I mean, films, like there's 10 already. There's 10 DC EU films, EU films right? Is there that many? Yeah. Two Wonder Women, Superman. Batman vs. Superman, Justice, Justice League. League, Aquaman, Shazam. Uh, Shazam, Black Adam. I know we're missing two. Did I say Aquaman? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Did you say both? Oh, like, are you saying... Suicide Squad? Suicide yeah. Squad. Two Suicide Squads. Yeah. Ten. Ten yeah. DCEU yeah. films. Do the Batman movies count? The... No, not, 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 in... the, not the well, Pattinson mm, one. But because of that the Flash. Mm. Yeah, but that's like saying... It's like saying the Tobey Maguire movies matter to the Marvel movies. They don't. Well, you they cannot do now though. Well, yeah, but you don't yeah. have <laughs> to see them. I, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. not canon, right? Yeah, but but good point. That's a 
Dave, Dave saves art. Point. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. You should work for DC. But yeah, I'm I thought Kevin it. Smith would have been a great choice that for DC. Been, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was watching some interviews that he did the other day, and he that. talks about his like favorite comic book <laughs> movies, and he's like, I got nothing to say. He's like, I don't like to say bad things about comic book movies because like I'll always find something I enjoy. So that's kind of how I feel about Black Adam. There's definitely enough in there that I was entertained to get through the movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's no Morbius, but it was good. <laughs> Did you see Morbius? Does anyone hear? Oh, I Morbius? saw Morbius in the theater too. Ooh, was it yeah. bad? I have not. It's I about the same as Black Adam. Like it's just uh, kind of like a cookie cutter comic I book movie. I saw Venom too. And, I saw and, dude, that was garbage. You didn't like Venom too? Trash. Yeah. Yeah, Dave would have to save that art. <laughs> <laughs> I liked Venom 2 enough. I just thought it was lame that there was just like one fight at the end. Yeah. Like I would like to see more uh fights between Venom and Carnage since that's what and they completely wasted Woody Harrelson. Like you have Woody Harrelson. You've said nothing good about it and you're like, "Oh, it's fine." <laughs> yeah, it's still funny. It's like it's good enough. <laughs> Good enough. I can see why that's confusing. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> Would I'll you bang Woody it, but... Harrelson? Me? Yeah. Uh, probably. My girlfriend was talking about him, and she's like, "He's attracted to him. He's even though he's goofy looking. He's like, not I don't know yeah. if he's goofy looking. I think he's <coughs> pretty." Ha she said, "She <laughs> got. She got. She wanted to bang him when she saw him in uh, Zombieland." Okay. And then she's like, "Yeah, he was a badass in that." So I was like, "Well, you need to watch." A uh, white man can't jump and see if you still want to bang him. I want to bang him uh, in Cheers. Of course, he's so lovable and Would innocent. Yeah. yeah. His dad was like a contract killer. Yeah, he was. Yeah. His dad was a hitman. Yeah. yeah. That's Killed a it. judge. That's for real? Yeah. yeah. His dad. No, his dad oh, also. Damn. There's also some speculation. <laughs> he killed Kennedy. Allegedly. No, that he, that he, his dad might have been the second gunman. Oh, my I've God. I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that. But I don't obviously don't believe that. But no, I've heard that Woody Harrelson's dad might have been the second guy. <laughs> That's all I've heard. He was great. great on Cheers, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The son, not the dad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, who Matt said the Batman is separate. Yeah, we the Batman is separate, but they're bringing the old Batmans into the DCEU through the Flash movie that's coming out because that's going to have the Michael Keaton Batman. In it. Mm -hmm. so that's, yeah. like is that, that still happening though? I mean, it's the the Flash. Yeah, yeah. They signed. I think they signed Ezra Miller's, uh, Miller to another to a sequel even. Because oh. they're like, oh, he got help. He'll be fine now, which is mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. Considering that. Far Out Magazine did Woody Harrelson's father assassinate John F. Kennedy? <laughs> What are they Watch this quick ad and we'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Far Out. Yeah. Far Out's a cool magazine. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say like I would. They're, they're not the times, <laughs> right. but they're not going to be that irresponsible. Mm -hmm. Did Osama bin Laden kill Kennedy? In a way, <laughs> didn't we all kill Kennedy? <laughs> uh, my, did I ever tell you my conspiracy theory behind the Kennedy assassination? No. Is Everyone in Dallas killed Kennedy except Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> <laughs> that everyone in Dallas <laughs> in Dealey Plaza pulled the trigger. Right. Through grief. <laughs> through grief. If I had a time machine, I'd go back to any point in human history. I would go back to the day J John F. Kennedy was assassinated. All right. I would I would go up to the president and because in this fantasy land I'm I've immediate access to the president. <laughs> I go up to the president and, and the first lady, I'd be like, Mrs. Kennedy. With all due respect, if I were you, I would wear something today that's not going to stain. <laughs> oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'd, really considerate. I'd bounce. I'd let the day Wear a busy some day. black, please. Or yeah, red. Red yeah. might be fine. Well, actually. black. Yeah, black is going to be the That's color. the best choice. Yeah, I would mm -hmm. say just, I mean, maybe no a convertible. Tarp. Yeah. Like a Gallagher concert. She yeah. Should just <laughs> yeah, wear like one of the, like a poncho. <laughs> That when what I would do, I would uh, go back in time, kidnap John F. Kennedy, and then take him to the '80s to see Gallagher live. Like, this is great. <laughs> and then, he's and at then, his top. He's at the prime now. Who Kennedy? He, yeah. He did, but he'd be I like, think he would love Gallagher. He'd be like, "Oh my God, put a bullet in my head." <laughs> like, and then he'd be like, "Oh, no, that was Lincoln <laughs> in a theater." <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what Lincoln was actually watching. He was yeah. watching Gallagher <laughs> perform. <laughs> Gallagher's great great grandpappy. <laughs> Pappy Gallagher. Uh, I would watch that movie. I'd watch mm-hmm. that uh re like that that Tarantino style movie Did where you know that it's ga- Lincoln. <laughs> Watching a Gallagher type performance. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Gallagher is related to Liam and Noel? Who? Oh, Noel the Gallagher. The, yeah, the, the, those Gallagher. Yeah, those Gallagher. <laughs> oh, you mean Gallagher of the Gallagher's yeah. of Oasis? Of Oasis fame. <laughs> yeah, that Gallagher was in it. He's the one. And they that. go around doing his act as Gallagher. Uh, yeah, two, that, three. that's what led to the rift <laughs> yeah. between yeah. those two. It's just like who gets to do? The, who gets to inherit the hammer? <laughs> Uh, the champagne supernova is what they call it when the mallet strikes. Right, the champagne <laughs> melon. Ah! Uh, Say what you want. That Gallagher is a hoot. <laughs> I met him uh, over here on East 4th a few years ago. It was probably actually 10 or 11 years ago now. And first of all, he smelled. Did he? Second, he's like, you want to take a comedy class? And I was like, right now and he's like no if i taught a ta- comedy class would you take it i'm like no i'm doing all right like i i know what i'm doing now like i i think i was headlining that night and he's like he's like you want to do a comedy class and i'm like i'm like are you just trying to get me to sign up for a comedy class right now he's like yeah i'm like no nah, man i'm good i think i'd take it i want to see what happened like, here's what he was charging him yeah. comedy works out like this set up punchline He's like, you got the setup, and he pulls out his hammer. <laughs> he got the punchline, and he like, smashes a melon. Uh, Gallagher, uh, <laughs> Professor Gallagher, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> what if you don't want to use props? Wait, what? <laughs> That's comedy. I like to just like tell jokes on stage. No, the, no, 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 no. The only thing that matters is hitting the. <laughs> Melon with a hammer. <laughs> but you already do that. So no, what, no. what would I do? No, you, you got to put your own spin on it. <laughs> do it on the other side. <laughs> do a different melon. Some fresh... That's comedy, kid. All right, what if I did like a like regular size hammer in a kiwi? No. <laughs> because what's funny is it's a big hammer and a melon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it funny. What if it's like a really, really small hammer and in a melon. <laughs> You're never going to make it. You know that? That's why I'm trying to take your class. I'm trying to teach you. You won't listen. Well, I have questions. I'm and, answering them. Yeah, and I appreciate yeah. that. Big I'm hammer, just, regular size melon. I just want to be prepared. When I go on stage, I want to make sure I have the right hammer and the right produce. Can I do it with a vegetable? I'm telling you the pro- I'm quit. I'm, you know, I don't want to teach this comedy class <laughs> So, oh, come out okay. and hit my big old, big old mallet. Yeah, and then a regular sized mallet. No, 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 I was thinking like a like a pumpkin. Yeah, a pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin's fine. Pumpkin's fine. Yeah. The, what do I do with the stem? You smash it. I feel like that. It be goes hard. into the crowd. Everyone laughs. Ha ha. Funny ha ha's. I want to watch a Gallagher special. <laughs> can you can you do one where you insert Gallagher? Yeah, absolutely, a massive Gallagher. Just, yeah. just a massive Gallagher. Oh no! Huge wait. fruit. There's a big mushroom cloud. And it's just Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bringer of little, doom. Yeah. Instead of Fat Man, a little boy coming down on Nakasaki. It's just Gallagher. It's like Bible time revelations yeah. with <laughs> just a giant kaiju yeah. Gallagher. Oh my god! Oh my so god! Funny. That I I would uh. I buy the original. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's uh? It, people can can they do um, like requests? Can they commissions? I used to do commissions, but I I disappointed so many people that I stopped doing <laughs> oh. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's like after it went viral, I sold like that, 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 ten What are you paintings. talking about? That didn't stop Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I took their money. Yeah. <laughs> now I just do what I want to do, and then. I put it out there, and if they, if they like it, they can buy it. Mm. I'll take your money. Are these yeah. originals? <laughs> yes. Is yes, all original? of them are originals. <laughs> wow, Where, you did six of them, huh? Where do you find paintings? Just thrifting? Yeah. Just it, I used to, and now, like, everybody in Canton just that thrifts, yeah, they hit, they just come by, and they're like, there's a free painting. That's mm. fucking awesome. Yeah, it's great. It makes it very easy and, on you. And painting someone else on painting someone else's painting it's way easier than doing a whole painting by yourself oh for sure yeah that's why 
doing this whole Gallagher tribute that I'm going to start doing is going to be way easier than writing my own jokes. <laughs> I think you should get on stage and just bring a big melon, put it at the edge of the stage, and just set a mallet next to it. Let everyone just feel nervous about yeah. it. And just leave it there and never, yeah. never, even never touch it. it. Just, it's just there. That's not a bad idea. Every now and then pick up the mallet and just kind of... I do have an idea for an like a comedy night thing where uh, I'm going to get like a tree stump and then have like a big nail, and then everybody gets the everybody that's doing comedy that night gets to swing the hammer once, and if you make contact with the nail, you get to tell a joke, and then we just kind of keep going in a circle until the nail's all the way driven in, and whoever drives it in the final, like the all the way in, uh, gets ten minutes and a hundred dollars. Oh wow! I think that'd be fun, you right? Just give me the hundred bucks. What? <laughs> no, I, was like, I was like, I'll just take the hundred bucks. No, you have to be the last one to you have to drive the nail in. What oh, if he? Right. What if they get it on the first try? Then they get the hundred bucks and get to do ten minutes, and it's a very short show. And this was a bad idea. <laughs> they get a big nail. I yeah. think what you're going to find is a lot of comedians are not good at doing late work. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to the the yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is exactly yeah, what thirty I'm minutes of people out. missing a nail, and then <laughs> one guy bending it, yeah. and then having to tap it sideways. Yeah, oh, I'll be, damn, I'll be, yeah. I'll be the control and like tap it or make sure that you know it's still okay. Can yeah. drive in. That's that's the host duty. Uh, we will have to have some waivers and shit like that too, because you can't just be having uh, people that are telling jokes and probably drinking, right? <laughs> swinging <laughs> hammers tools. without covering your ass legally. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Dave, for for coming up and checking out. Any do you, do you have any any clue as to how big Gallagher's penis is? <laughs> Put that in a. I photo. actually <laughs> just the penis. You're like it's about that yeah. big. <laughs> well, he calls that the sledgeomatic too. So <laughs> he's uh, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> All right. Uh, check out uh, at Dave Ruins Art on TikTok and. Uh, on Instagram, and then check out his website at uh, DaveRuinsArt.com to buy some prints uh, at Tommy LC on uh, OnlyFans, Fansly, Instagram, Twitter. She, you did, oh, I wanted to talk to you about your the the latest photo shoot you did with like the black. Oh, it's a next week we'll do it because it's a disgusting and funny story. So we'll talk about okay, it next week. Right, we'll talk right, about so, it next week. But it, but it was just fun. The pictures it was that really you, good. The pictures that you have. Posted. Shared so far look really cool. Yeah, like they look fun. Yeah. Uh, and then at AJ DeCosimo on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and TikTok now. And what? he also uh, did a um, Slutman video the other day. That I did. Uh, uh, I I kicked that uh, that thing's ass. Yeah, you I? did. Yeah. Yeah. So he does uh, a character he calls Slutman, where he covers himself in shaving cream and then sings uh, folk songs. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> like but this rock. this one I did a little. I went a little heavy. Yeah. Folk songs. It. Like folk rock. Yeah, yeah, folk rock, but I like did- Singer-songwriter type stuff. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but this time I did uh, Me- Bad Out of Hell. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kicked that song's ass, yeah. didn't I? Yes, you sure did. It was, uh, I was awoken by my girlfriend watching that. I was <laughs> I was asleep, and then I just hear AJ singing Bad Out of Hell, and I was like, Slut Man? And she's like, Slut Man. <laughs> <laughs> did that really happen? Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so good. I haunt your dreams. Yeah. She haunts your dreams. And uh, thank you for checking out the, the live stream. Uh, check out the podcast if you didn't catch all of it on uh, whatever apps you use to listen to podcasts. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and I will have announcements soon on my comedy special that's coming out on this YouTube channel. Uh in uh, November, and that, that, that's exciting. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.